in this box is the most expensive keyboard ever sent to this channel for review. Watch the whole video and I promise you won't be disappointed. Yeah, my bad, my bad. Hey y'all, welcome to Clackbait. This is the Promise 87, a TKL by Wuche Studio. Now there's two versions available. A bespoke edition gives you full customizability unlike any other group by board that I've seen. And a standard edition that's just as pretty for much less. Wuche Studio sent me a bespoke unit that I was able to fully customize. Chill! I'll go over all the details, but first, let's take a look at this bottom weight. Hit the B-roll. Yeah, so this keyboard looks spectacular. I was nervous about how it turned out since I had to imagine the color combos in my head, but I think I did I. Right. Now, quick note, I'll go over as much of the options as I can in this video, but there's a lot to take in, so make sure to check out the Groobuy page for all the customizing info. Now, Canon Keys and other international vendors will run the standard Groobuy. I'll have affiliate links in the description that really helps this channel out. So if you decide to go in on this Groobuy, I'd appreciate you using them. So the Promise 87 comes in two editions. The bespoke edition, like the one I received, will be limited to 400 units globally with one by one customization from Wuche Studios and starts at a whopping $800. Holy For the bespoke version, you'll be able to customize the top and bottom case colors with the nine available case colors to select from. You can go with or without the accent lines under the TKO cluster or the blockers. With or without that moissanite stone, you can customize the back accent line in PVD mirror gold, silver, black, or prism. The chamfers also in the same colors. The PVD mirror external weight in gold, silver, black, or prism. And you can mix and match like I did on my board. You can also add a bottom laser engraving, which you will need to provide Wuche with the logo or design of your choice. So that's really unique personalization options that you don't see every day in this hobby. And I applaud them for giving it a try. Now, if that's worth $800, that's something I leave up to you. Now let's talk about the one most people will should go for the standard edition which comes in nine colors including e-white silver burgundy pink lavender violet pine navy and black and man that violet with the prism back looks amazing i think that one's gonna be pretty hot the price for the standard will start at 380 dollars for the sandblasted aluminum external weight and go up to 450 dollars for the stainless steel pvd weight adding the default promise logo laser marking tax on an additional five dollars feel free to pause the screen here to read all the deeds now the kit will come with this nice cover a 1.2 millimeter hot swap pcb with all the flex cuts and some split compatibility there's going to be four variations to the pcb that you can select from so you can check out all the compatibility on the site the plates that they sent me are aluminum polycarbonate and brass but they'll have more plate options during the group buy such as palm and fr4 you also get a foam kit with pour on plate foam pour on switch pad and case foam which still comes stuck on a sticker, which is something Wuche has got to change. Also, there's this unique plate and switch integrated foam, which is made from what Wuche calls super critical material. Sounds pretty serious. It's a nice medium between poron and silicone, so it's not too firm and not too soft, and they recommend using it on an aluminum plate. The new gaskets are made from the same super critical material and comes in three different hardnesses. The application is different from other slip-on gaskets. Instead of being placed on the outside of the plate mounts, they slide between the two, which is pretty unique. You also receive a set of Wuche stabilizers in the kit, which is really nice to see. Now let's get one thing out of the way. This is an absolutely gorgeous TKL. I believe this is Wuche's first TKL and they really came with some dope customization options in both configurations. The split bottom weight design is really unique. And in my opinion, it really shines on the bespoke edition since you can do different finishes, mix and match both sides. The blocker cluster accents really set it apart from a top down view. Personally, I love this board with all the accents, not just the cluster accent. 
It's totally preference and it's good to have choices. And for those who need that Windows key, it will be offered in a Win key and Win key less option. So keep that in mind. Also, I love the slight additional space Huche added between the F row and the alphas. The front of the keyboard is slightly tapered down, which is also known as a cherry lip, which is a really nice touch. It gives it a nice comfortable feel when you're typing. Now the front height is around 19 millimeters and the typing angle is five degrees. Fully built, this thing weighs as much as a newborn baby, coming in at 7.56 pounds or 3.43 kg for the homies in the east. Yeah, it's a heavy boy. Now let's talk about this moistenite for a second. I love this thing. Yeah, it's really extra for a keyboard, but the way the LED shines below it gives you something unique not seen on a keyboard before, and I'm all about that light. The color for the LED supports full RGB, so you can change the color to your liking. Now this is a quote unquote screwless design, which uses internal screws to screw down the top and bottom case, similar to the Mammoth 75. Although I understand it allows for a cleaner bottom, especially with this gorgeous weight, it's my least favorite thing about this board. If you want to open the case to do some mods, you have to remove a bunch of keycaps and switches to do an otherwise simple task. I'd love for Wuche to look into a new method here. But besides that, the build process is pretty simple. The typing feel for this board is nice and soft. There are three gaskets that slightly change the typing feel. From the softest to the lightest, it goes blue, white, and red. I usually always go with the softest one, so I use blue in mine. Now overall, it's a good amount of balance, similar to what you find in other keyboards with flex cuts in the PCB and a gasket structure. The new super critical foam was interesting. Like I said, Wuche recommends using it with the aluminum plate, and for my testing, it was best suited there. I wouldn't say it's a game-changing material for sound or feel, and what it does do is give you a slightly stiffer experience without killing the sound as silicone normally does. So it's a good medium between poron and silicone. Now for the PC plate, I recommend using the standard poron plate foam. Adding the case foam does make the typing feel considerably stiffer. Now as far as sound is concerned, the Promise sounds really nice. Even without the case foam, I wasn't getting much hollowness and the alphas were pretty crisp. I was anticipating the flex cuts to deaden the sound, but I was pleasantly surprised that it didn't. I built the board in two configurations, First, with the aluminum plate, with the super critical plate foam, and no case foam. Take a listen. Now next, I threw in the PC plate with the pour-on plate foam, no case foam, and no pour-on switch pad. Now personally, I enjoyed both sound profiles, but ultimately I landed on using the polycarbonate plate configuration the most. The mod sounds slightly weak, but the spacebar sounds really nice, almost like I'm using an SA profile spacebar. It's kind of weird. I think there's a lot to work with here, and you'll be able to dial in your sound profile preferences just fine. Now final thoughts. The Promise 87 is a beautiful TKL that does not disappoint in both typing experience and sound. It isn't your typical rectangle due to the customization options, and it's made by a company that has a solid reputation. Now, should you go for an $800 bespoke version? That depends on your wallet, and if you think it's wise to spend on a keyboard. I personally couldn't justify that spend, especially when a homie needs a new camera lens. But I will say, the standard edition is a must consider. It's good, and I'm out.